Welcome to the Hebrew Congregation of St. Thomas. I feel like my ears are stuffy, so I hope you all can hear me. You can't hear me. No, okay, because I feel like, okay, fine. Anyway, Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to the Hebrew Congregation of St. Thomas. My name is Katina Kulianos, and I'm not the rabbi. I'm the service leader tonight um, while we await the arrival of our settled rabbi, which we hope will be soon. Her name is Julia Margolis. Um, I'd like everyone to please join in the singing and the readings. And I ask right now um, if Dorothy Isaacs could come here to the little bima and uh, do the candle lighting for us. We'll begin on page 120, 121. This moment is probably the most stressful part of our service it every is. Friday night when these things don't work. <laughs> Jeez. This doesn't work either. Michael, is there a trick to this? I know. Veruka Tad or Nihaloheno, Milik Aulam, a share Kiddishano, the Mitzvah Tab, Vitsivano, Lahadnik Nair, Shell, Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hollows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. <laughs> continue together on the middle of page 124. May the door of the synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, and hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or strained feet, and may it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. 
May this synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. And we are going to continue with singing on page 128, Ine Matov. Tovu manaim, shevet achim gam yachad. Ine matovu manaim, shevet achim gam yachad. Ine matov, shevet achim gam yachad. And now we turn to page 136 and read together a Psalm of David. Ascribe to Adonai, O divine beings, ascribe to Adonai glory and strength, ascribe to Adonai the glory of God's name, bow down to Adonai majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters, the glory of God of glory thunders, Adonai over the mighty waters, the voice of Adonai is power, the voice of Adonai is majesty, the voice of Adonai breaks cedars, Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon, God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. And now we are going to welcome the Sabbath bride by singing Lechado Di. We usually sing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9 and turn um, at verse 9 to stand and welcome the Sabbath bride. Leka leka do di likrat likrat kala bene bene shabat ve kabla leka leka do di likrat likrat kala bene bene shabat ve kabla la 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 leka do di likrat likrat kala bene bene shabat ve kabla leka leka do di likrat likrat kala. Shabbat ne kabla, shamul v'zacho b'dibur echad. Ishmi anu echam yuchad, Adonai echad u'shemo echad. L'shem u'tiferet v'litich la 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 Lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala bene bene shabbat nekabla likrat shabbat lechu bene lecha ki him ko habracha me rosh me kerem nesucha sofma seb mach shabbat echla la 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 lecha do di likrat likrat kala. Bene bene shabbat ne kabla lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala bene bene shabbat ne kabla ki toreri toreri ki va orech kumi ori 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 shidaberi kvod adonai al yishkan la 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 Lick 
Shabbat Lekrat Kala, Pnei Pnei Shabbat Lekabela. Moi v'shalom ateret balav, Kam v'simcha u'tsohola, Toch emunei am segula, Boi chala, boi chala, la 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 We're going to continue on page 144. We may as well remain standing for the Hatzikadish. If I can get the tune. <laughs> okay. Others can help. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabbah, Velma, Divra, Hirote, Viamlich, Malhute, Beha, Yehon, Vio, Mehon, Uchaye, De Kolbet, Yisrael. Bagala, Bagala, Ubizman Kariv, Bimeru, Amen. Yehe Shame Rabba Mavora, Lelam Alman El Maya, Yet Bara, Vit Bara, Vishtabach, Vit Paar, Vit Ramam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Alel, Vit Alal, Shame de Kudishov, Berehu. Lel min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nemata, dami ran b'alma v'miru. Amen. And we go to the Baruch on page 146. La 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 Adonai Hamavora Baruch Adonai Hamavora Kleolam Baen Baruch Adonai Hamavora Kleolam Baen The middle of page 147 O oh God, you are as near as the very air that we breathe, yet farther than the farthermost star. We yearn to reach you. We seek the light and warmth of your presence. Though we say you are near, we are lonely and alone. O oh, let our desire be so strong that it will tear the veil that keeps you from our sight. Let your light release our darkness and reveal the glory and joy of your presence. And then we continue to page 50. Everlasting love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night, we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Be seated. 
And tonight we'll continue with the Via Hafta in English. Together, you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Build them as a sign as on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. Adonai Elohehem Emet. And we continue on 157 at the top. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before we ever stood at Sinai's foot. That wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Now we turn to page 160, where we'll sing in a moment uh, the song that Hashkivenu, grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed. Baruch atah Adonai haparei sukkat shalom aleinu vel kol amo Israel ve'al Yerushalayim. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Le Shalom Le Shalom Ashkivenu Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom. Vahamideinu malkeinu le chayim u le shalom u shalom. Ashkivenu Adonai Elheinu le shalom Ufros aleinu Sukkat shlomecha Ashkivenu Adonai
Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. And let's continue on page 162 with the singing of Vishamru. Shamru vene Israel et hashabat la sot et hashabat le dorot aberit olam. Shamru vene Israel et hashabat la sot et hashabat le dorot aberit olam. Beni uve. Bene Israel, Bene Israel, Oti le Olam, Veshamru, Bene Israel, Et Hashabat, La Sot et Hashabat, Le Dor Tamburit Olam, Kisheshet Yamim. Asadonai, Asadonai, et hashamayim v'et ha'aretz v'shamru v'ne Israel et hashabat l'asot et hashabat l'etor tamberit olam uvayom hashvi. Shavat vayina fash, Shavat vayina fash, Shavat vayina fash. Veshamru bene Israel et hashabat, Lasot et hashabat, le dor tamberit olam. Continue now on page 164 and rise for tefillah, facing the ark. Adonai sechatai tifta uvufi agitahilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu v'Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu. Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzhak, v'Elohei Yaakov. Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, v'Elohei Leah. Ha'el ha'gador ha'gibor v'hanora, el el yom. Gomel hasadim tovim. Vekone ha kol, vezoher has de avot vimahot, ume vi gula lif nevenehem, le man shemo beahava, mele hoseu moshio magain, baruch ata adonai, magain avraham vezrat sara, atagi borle olam adonai, mehaye ha kol ata rav lehoshia, Mashiv harua umorid hagashem, mekalkel chayim vehesed, mehaye hakol berachamin rabim, someh noflim verofe holim, umatir asurim, umkayem emunato li shene afar, mi hamoha bal gevurot, umido mela. Melech mebid u mechaye u matzmiya Yeshua veneman ata lachayot hakol baruch ata Adonai mechaye hakol ata kadosh usim hakadosh kadoshim bechol yom yvehalayu sela baruch ata Adonai ha'el hakadosh. 
Please be seated. <clears throat> Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence, like lightning, illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed, and we, clay touched by God, will reach out for holiness and exclaim in wonder, how filled with awe is this place, and we did not know it. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. And now we continue together for a few moments in silent meditation or reading, whichever you prefer. Now we come to the part of our service where we uh, pray for those who need physical or spiritual healing. And um, we have a list in our service flyer in the blue for those who need prayers. And I will ask around the congregation. Um, I'm afraid I cannot repeat what I hear because it's hard for me to hear up here. But please say as clearly as you can, and then we'll ask the folks on Zoom if they are persons that they are praying for. I would like to just uh, point out a few people. Helen Lenneman, Irva Denham, Steve Rockstein, Brooke Robin, Marion Blazer, and Michelle Barnes. Now, in the congregation. Eugene Dudley. Thank you. Okay. And on Zoom? Pam Richards, Alec Boutros, Karen Donaldson, and Steve Boyer. Okay. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Okay. Um, we'll sing the Misha Bera. of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen those in need of healing with refuah shalema the renewal of body the renewal of 
of spirit and let us say Amen. Okay, so my little talk for tonight concerns this week's uh, portion, which is Yitro. Exodus 18, chapter 18, verse 1 to chapter 20, verse 23. So Yitro, or Jethro, was a Midianite priest, and he was also Moses' father-in-law. Prior to the portion that we read this week, Yitro is mentioned in a story that begins in Exodus chapter 2, verse 11. In it, Moses has grown up but is still identifying as an Egyptian. It's a, it's a story from his, as a young man. He's out one day and he sees an Egyptian striking a Hebrew and he intervenes, he kills the Egyptian and he buries him and he hopes that he's not been seen. But in, in his intervening in another uh, argument between two Hebrews, he discovers that others found out and knew what he had done. Further, Pharaoh, the old Pharaoh, not the one of the plagues, heard of this and sought to kill Moses, who then fled and settled in the land of Midian. And verse 16 continues. He was there and he sat down by a well. Now, in all these old stories, always something's going on with the well and the sheep and the goats and the camels, or whatever. So he's there at the well. Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters and they came and they drew water and they filled the troughs to give drink to their father's sheep. Shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses rose up and he delivered them and gave drink to their sheep. When they came home to their father, uh, Yitro, he said, why have you come home so quickly today? And they said, an Egyptian man rescued us from the hand of the shepherds and moreover, he drew water for us and he watered the sheep. So Yitro said to his daughters, so where is he? For what reason then have you left this man behind? Call him that he may break bread with us. So by this we see that Moses host Yitro is a priest. That is a person with experience in leading others, dealing with groups large and small and sorting out conflicts that occur among people. So Moses comes, you know, to, for the meal, and then he agrees to settle down with the man, and um, he marries uh, Yitro's daughter, Zipporah. She gives birth to a son named Gershon, a name which means, a, surge, a sojourner have I become in a foreign land. Okay. Many years later, the old pharaoh dies, and the new Pharaoh is installed and the children of Israel grown out from the servi servitude and they plea to God for help. God recalls his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he sees the children of Israel. So Moses is now shepherding the flock of his father-in-law out in the wilderness and he comes to the mountain of God and to Horeb where the story of the burning bush occurs and I'm not going to linger on this part because I want to concentrate on y just Yithro himself. So God does speak to Moses and vice versa. And I, in this part, God instructs him in how to be a leader and how to overcome some of his um, lack of confidence. Also, his, he has a speech impediment. Around chapter four, verses 19 to 20, Moses returns to Egypt with his wife and sons. And we see him beseeching Pharaoh to let the Hebrews go. We go through the section of the plagues and the parting of the Red Sea. And now we arrive at this week's portion. At some point, his family does come, the family is separated. Then Yitro, the priest of Midian, heard all that God had done for Moses and the people Israel and that Adonai had brought Israel out of Egypt. So Yitro took his daughter Zipporah, Moses' wife, and the two sons, Gershom, as we mentioned before, and the younger son, 
Eliezer, whose name it means, God's help, as in the God of my father's my help. He rescued me from Pharaoh's sword. So Yitro comes with his daughter and her sons to Moses in the wilderness where Moses was encamped at the mountain of God. And he said, I, your father-in-law, Yitro, I'm coming to you with your wife and your two sons. And the men greeted each other. They bowed and they kissed. They asked after each other's welfare. And then they came into the tent. Moses related everything that Adonai had done for the Israelites in Egypt and, and had also sp spoken of all the hardships that had befallen them on the journey. Yitro was jubilant because all the good that Adonai had done for Israel, he had rescued that he had rescued Israel from the land of Egypt. And Yitro said, Blessed be Adonai who has rescued you from the hand of Egypt and from the hand of Pharaoh who has rescued the people from under the hand of Egypt. And he continued, Now I know, yes, Adonai is greater than all gods. Yes, just in that manner in which they were presumptuous against them. And he took an offering and he, made, and he slaughtered an offering and made a sacrifice for God. And Aaron and all the elders of Egypt Israel came to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before the presence of God. So the next day, Moses sat to judge the people. Everyone stood around from daybreak to sunset. And when Moses' father-in-law saw that all that he had to do, he said, what kind of matter is this that you do for the people? Why do you sit alone while the entire people stations itself around you from daybreak until sunset? Moses said to his father-in-law, when the people come to me to inquire of God, when it has some legal matter, it comes to me. I judge between a man and his fellow and make known God's laws and his instructions. Then Moses' father-in-law said to him, not good is this matter as you do it. You will become worn out. Yes, worn out so that you and so this people that are with you for this matter is too heavy for you and you cannot do it alone. Listen to me, I advise you so that God may be there with you. Be there yourself for the people in relation to God. You yourself should have the matters come to God. You should make clear to them the laws and the instructions. You should make known to them the way they should go and the deeds they should do. But you, you are to have the vision to select from all the people, men of caliber who hold God in awe, men of truth who are not in looking for gain for themselves, and you should set them over the people as chiefs of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and chiefs of tens, so that they may judge the people at all times. So shall it be. Every great matter they shall bring before you, but every small matter they shall judge by themselves. Make it light upon you and let them bear it with you. If you do in this manner, when God commands you further, you will be able to stand and also this people will come to its place in peace. Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law and did as he said. He chose men of caliber from all of Israel and he placed them as heads over the people by the chiefs of thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens, that they would judge the people at all times and the difficult matters would bring before Moses, but every small matter they would judge by himself. And after that, Yitro continued back to his home. So from this we see a few things. We see first the setting up of a judicial system that takes care of many layers of conflict all the way up to a supreme arbiter. We also learn that leadership means directing and delegating, that a leader cannot do everything, nor should they. Leading means bringing people towards a mutual goal, but it also means bringing them along, bringing them up, and bringing them into leadership for the future. So we here must bring others along and into our synagogue community and up into it and with the knowledge and education into leadership. And something like this can start just by asking one person to do one thing that they have not done before, but supporting them as they work at the task and figuring out the approach for themselves. This is one way we can build our community. Finished. 
So we're going to now um, open the arc doors, Shoshana, and we continue f with the Elenu on page 586. We remember our people who suffered and died so that we could be free and secure. May their memory be more than a distant shadow. For their dreams left unfulfilled and lives taken too soon, we remember. Remember our brothers and sisters who sacrificed kept the dream of democracy and justice alive. May their courage be our inspiration and strength. For life cut short and vision unrealized, we remember. Remember the fallen of our armed forces, the victims of terror and tragedy. May the darkness of their loss not obscure the light of peace. They were in love with our land and in love with life. For the agony, the tears, the mothers and the fathers, for the children who were and for the children yet to be, we remember. Tonight, we remember our members, our high members, and particularly tonight we remember Henya Fetterman who passed away two, year, two days ago and was buried yesterday in Brooklyn, um, for whom we, uh, who the family is observing Shiva, and uh, the Shloshim period for Ricky Cass. For the yard side for our members, Albert Frankel, Phyllis Friedman, Bernie Goldberg, Frank Grabenik, Sanford Grishman, Renee Horwitz, Julius Kessler, Ophelia Clayman, Claire Klein, Abraham I I Isaac Abraham Levies, Anna Lustig, Albin B. Maisler, Rosina Maxova, Morris Migdal, Mina Miller, Phoebe Rexite, Ricky Rezin, 
Mayor Rock, David Tunick, Clara Walenka, Albert Wechter, and Walter Warbell. We observe yard site for the following high members, or their, those dear to our high members. Wolf Amber, Michael Archiola, Remond Benayam, Ira Berger, Herman Braverman, Alan Bronner, David Callan, Ethel Cohen, Rose Cohen, Mealy Eisenberg, Sam Fisher, William Goldstein, Joseph Green, David Groner, Rose Gross, Dr. Walter Gruber, Ray Heller, Lillian Karp, Bessie Clyde, Elias Korn, Rudolph Kronheim, Edith Lane, Esther Levin, Morris London, Charles Martin, Florence Mazur, Sam Miller, Hilda Merkin, Morris Merkin, Esther Narrow, Eric Nossbaum, and Tilly Pierce. Morris Rosenzweig, Faye Rotblatt, Albert Chapeau, Olive Siegel, Elaine Singer, Mattel Snitman, Rose Stone, Bella Tesher, Edward Testa, Manuel Weinstein, Rosalind Wolf, and Dennis Wood. Are there persons, uh, are there people in here observing the art site tonight? Any names would like to be mentioned? How about the Zoom family? Not a yard site, but who died this week, Sherna McQueenie. Well, my dad died two days ago, so James Michael Pontius. Okay, thank you. Um, we will rise on to say the Kaddish, which is on page 596. Yitkadal vidkada shame raba, Belma devra hirute viamli mahute, Vihayehon yomehon, Vihaye de col bet Israel, Bagala Usman Kari vimru amen, Yehe shame raba, Mavarah lelam alme almaya, Yet bara, vid bara, vid par, vid ramam, vid nase, Vitadar, vitalel, vitalal, shame de kudishabrihu. Leilal mil kol birhata vishirata, tush bahata venechmata, damiran bialma vimru amen. Ehe shlama rabba min shamaya, vehaim alenu veal kol yisrael vimru amen. Ose shalom vimru mav, uya se shalom, alenu veal kol yisrael vimru amen. Please be seated. I'd just like to note that the synagogue will be making a donation to plant trees in Israel in Henya Fetterman's memory, and more information will be sent out soon for those who wish to contribute to this effort. Our, um, tonight we have Oneg at Lilienfeld House for our guests. It's up the hill, not too far, a couple houses on the left. Um, Trudy. Uh, anything about next week? Well, we all look forward to it very much. Okay, tonight, um, our closing song tonight is going to be Ain Kelohenu on page 626. Señor, 
non como nuestro rey, non como nuestro salvador. This is the Sephardic Mi version. Continue. Okay. Mi heilo heinu, mi chadoneinu, mi chmalkeinu, mi chmoshienu. Ken como nuestro Dios, ken como nuestro Señor, ken como nuestro Rey, ken como nuestro Salvador. No de leol heinu, no de la doneinu, no de le malkeinu, no de le moshienu. Lauremos a nuestro Dios, lauremos a nuestro Señor. Lauremos a nuestro Rey, lauremos a nuestro Salvador. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Momoshieinu. Bendicho nuestro Dios, bendicho nuestro Señor, bendicho nuestro Rey. Bendicho nuestro Salvador. Atahu Eloheinu, atahu Adoneinu, ahat Malkeinu, atahu Moshieinu. Tú sos nuestro Dios, tú sos nuestro Señor, tú sos nuestro Rey, tú sos nuestro Salvador. Getting caught between Spanish and Ladino. <laughs> I should have had the alternate page. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Please join us for um, Oneg and the people who joined us on Zoom tonight. Very nice to see you. Um, it's always good to have you join us. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. Shalom. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hi, Katina. Katina. <laughs> I guess she can't hear us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, we'll have a good one, guys. Be safe. You too. Bye-bye.